So the Aaron Rodgers press conference to be introduced to the New York Jets as their new quarterback just concluded about a, a minute ago or so. I wanted to give just some quick thoughts on how I thought it really went. Uh, one of the big quotes, he said, hey, Nathaniel Hackett's here. That's a big reason why I came. That, that was pretty funny to me just because, you know, we had the whole rumors about Nathaniel Hackett becoming the Denver Broncos quarterback trying to attract Aaron Rodgers a year ago. Uh, but that never happened. And now that he is the offensive coordinator of the New York Jets, it happened. I just thought that connection really made me laugh. But overall, if you want to take what this press conference means, at the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything unless Aaron Rodgers performs on the field. But he really played well with the New York media. This was his first time really being in front of that New York media, having to address questions about how a bro- how his Packers tenure ended, uh, what he expects out of the Jets, stuff like that. You know, the simple press conference questions when a, a new player joins a franchise. But we came accustomed to Aaron Rodgers being a bit of a, a bit arrogant in his way of addressing the media, being, uh, hey, I'm holier than thou type of thing. Instead, Aaron Rodgers came out, he answered the questions correctly, and I really loved that. I think that was a great first press conference. I believe it was Justina Anderson that asked, when are you going to start practicing? He said, this tomorrow, Cal. So he's ready to get into that building with the Jets, try to develop some chemistry with guys like Garrett Wilson, with McCall Hardman, Denzel Mims, uh, etc. Just all their wide receivers that they have, including... Uh, target he's familiar with, with Alan Lazard, I just think that he is ready to essentially say, hey, I heard what the media has been saying about me. I'm ready to turn this thing around. I'm going to be the best teammate I can. I'm going to continue to dominate. Uh, this is kind of a weird comparison, but in wrestling terms, I mean, he's CM Punk. He left on better terms. Uh, he came back. He became this crowd fan favorite thing. And he essentially came back and is saying, hey, I am the good guy. I am going to prove that I am thankful. I am loyal to you guys. So just seeing that was pretty interesting to me. Uh, He said that he walked past the one Super Bowl trophy in the Jets building and said it looked very lonely. So I'm excited just as a Jets fan personally to see how Aaron Rodgers does. I think he's going to have a great year. He said the right answers. I know a lot of people were hesitant on if he's going to take the number 12. That's Joe Namath's number, the only quarterback to win a Super Bowl in New York for the Jets. But he said, hey, I respect him. I understand he told me that, hey, I could take number 12, but that number is Broadway Joe. I think that was the smartest answer that he could have said there. I think that was the best answer in his press conference. But he just seems like, hey, it's a new change. I'm ready to embrace the change. And I am here to really be the best teammate I can, be the best quarterback I could be here. And we are going to try to win a lot of games and be a Super Bowl team. He said he feels like this is a Super Bowl roster. You know, Joe Douglas has been hitting on the draft the last couple of years. Jets still have some interesting draft choices to make. They have a good receiving room. I think they can improve a tiny bit on the offensive line, if we're being honest. Uh, You have Brees Hall coming back as a running back. I think the defense is in a very good spot, but you always can improve on some things. So I think this Jets team is going to be very well. Obviously, the AFC is going to be tough when you have teams like Kansas City, you have Cincinnati, Buffalo, etc. It's going to be a tough hill to climb over there. But I think this was a very important and necessary first step as Aaron Rodgers to say, hey, I'm not that guy that's just that bitter old man in Green Bay. I am going to be someone who is here to be a leader for this team, for this franchise, and we are going to try to advance and win a Super Bowl. That's my initial takeaway from Aaron Rodgers' press conference. Tell me what you guys thought. In the comments below, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys in the next one.